So in this video, I'm going to keep it short and get straight to the point. We're going to talk about how much money you can save per month by brewing your own kombucha. If you want to know what kombucha is or how to make it, check out my other video right here. Alright, so I've gone to two different grocery stores and bought two different kombuchas in two different volumes from each store. So this is how much each bottle costs and this is how much each bottle costs by the liter. And if we average them out, it comes down to $8 per liter. Doesn't seem that bad, right? Say you drink about 3 liters of kombucha a week, that's $24 and that's $96 a month. It adds up pretty quickly, eh? Sorry, I'm Canadian. You might hear me say a eh, here and there. And I say sorry, not sa sa sorry, sa sorry. I I can't even pronounce it the American way. Anyways, now that we know that how much the store bought ones cost, let's take a look at how much the homebrew ones would cost us. So, one batch of kombucha gets me exactly 3 liters. 3 tablespoons of loose tea cost me $1.16 and 3 quarter cups of white sugar cost me 16 cents. For the water in the first fermentation, I'm not going to measure that because I don't really know how to measure that, but if I had to guess, uh, let's say 10 cents for 3 liters of water. So far, it comes down to $1.42. Alright, so with the cost of the second fermentation, it can vary dramatically because it depends on what you use and how much you use. So let's find an average cost for 3 liters of kombucha. So raspberries are currently not in season, and this time of year they cost me a little bit more. And half a pint of raspberries cost me $4.99. Two small thumb sized pieces of ginger cost me 26 cents. And two teaspoons of white sugar cost me 3 pennies. So this flavor cost me a total of $5.28. Let's take a look at our second flavor. These yellow mangoes are small and mighty and these taste much better than the red mangoes, the bigger ones. Uh, and these only cost me $4 for two. And this doesn't require any additional sugar because these guys, they're very ripe, they're very sweet on their own. Last but not least, this is gonna cost you guys a little bit more, but this one is freaking awesome and you guys gotta try this. These black grapes cost me $3.78, two limes comes to $1.32, and half a bunch of mint for $1.33. So the flavor of grape mojito comes down to $6.43. Now, let's do some quick math. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys so far with all these numbers. So we're going to average out the cost for our second fermentation between these three flavors. And it comes down to $5.28. On top of that, we also have to include the cost for our first fermentation, which was $1.42. That means, if we divide that by 3, it cost me about $2.23 to produce 1 liter of kombucha at home. Other than that, there's also a bit of initial cost that you guys will need to cover for making your own kombucha. You will need to cover a cost of a scoby if you guys don't have a friend who also makes kombucha that can give you one. As well as the brewing vessels and glass bottles for carbonating your booch. Because all of those are reusable, I'm not going to include those in our cost. I'll also have links below for all the supplies that you guys might need. Alright, so we're gonna compare them again side by side. The store-bought ones will cost you guys about $8 per liter, and the homebrew ones will cost you guys about $2.23 by the liter. Now, let's find out how much money you and I can potentially save. So between Megan and I, we usually drink about 6 to 7 liters of kombucha a week. So let's say 6.5 liters. If we don't brew our own and buy them, it will cost us $8 times 6.5, which is $52 a week. And a whopping $208 a month. Jeez. And to brew our own, it costs us $2.23 times 6.5, which is $15 a week and $60 a month. And if we take this and subtract this, Megan and I are saving $148 a month by brewing our own. That's a freaking $1776 a year. And that's a lot of beer money. Or gas money. Uh, it's kind of crazy out there right now.
Anyways, if you guys want to know how much money you can save depending on how much kombucha you guys think you consume, just multiply the liters by $5.70 and that should give you guys a pretty good idea of how much you can potentially save. So that's it guys, hope you find this video helpful, maybe you guys will save some decent money, but regardless, you guys should definitely give brewing your own kombucha a try. I have another video right here, it's a complete guide on how to brew your own kombucha. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.